So the basic idea of IRT is that you can weigh constructs, you can weigh latent traits. That's what this is really telling you, that we can take a group of measures or a series of predictors and we can then start weighing how much of something someone has or a group of test takers or respondents to your surveys has. And that's the, that's the foundational idea. So you can see why this would be really, really powerful for researchers. It's a great way to go out and quickly collect data and make sense of it. So, like I mentioned previously, there is uh, a mathematical formula that goes along with uh, item response theory. And we have talked about this class not being about the mathematics of doing this work. But it's important to know whenever you do use a quantitative formula that you just walk through and explain it. So I've thrown this in here just simply as an example. The mathematics of IRT, it's really based on the logistics function, which is pretty widely used in statistics. Logistics analysis is a form of regression modeling, and you usually use it to model categorical outcomes, essentially, or, you know, binary outcomes, something like a yes or no response, or a, you know, I strongly agree, I disagree, I agree. That kind of response pattern is how you would um, model data. and what this does is the IRT models the probability of a categorical outcome. So getting the answer right, getting the answer wrong. This is the formula that we use for what's called a three parameter IRT estimation. And I'll show you a picture of it in a little bit. Uh, it is basically just saying that the probability of someone's response to an item is given in terms of theta and it equals a lower bound asymptote plus a ratio. And that ratio is one minus the lower bound asymptote divided by one plus the number e raised to a parameter which is considered the item's uh, discrimination parameter and then that is multiplied times the person's ability again that's over here in theta minus the difficulty of the item so that's essentially uh, the general formula for irt estimation and that is for a three parameter IRS IRT estimation where you only have two response options. Things change a lot because I can delete a lot of these parameters if I wanted to. I could not care about them. And I could also have other kinds of data. Uh, binary data is one form of data, so dichotomous data. Uh, binary data, the same thing. If I have a yes or no response or a true or false response or a gets it right, doesn't get it right response, you know, correct, incorrect, um, that's different than formulas that allow you to estimate partial credit. So maybe there's some things where, you know, you have a distractor on a test and you want to know or give partial credit for people who uh, get the distractor right, the next best answer, but not the best answer. So there's different formulas for that. So the mathematics of IRT is, you know, important to understand because this little formula drives all of the all of the work that you would be doing and that we'll be taking a look at later on. And again, like I said, we're not focusing on the mathematics in this class. We're just really focusing on how to use the technology and the data tools and what you'll want to do when you write your dissertation if you use a complex math formula is just have someone who's familiar with those formulas look over it make sure you've explained it correctly and then make sure that the modeling procedure that you've selected in the statistics package that you're using is actually fitting the formula that you are claiming to use or telling people that you are using so those are just some checks all right, so let's not spend too much time on the mathematics of IRT. As interesting as it is, um, I will just say this. The, the range of mathematics involved in item response theory is pretty big. There's some pretty basic models like the one I just showed you here where you're looking at, you know, essentially someone with a good background in algebra could just plug out this um, these formulas and answer, you know, a series of various equations to get um, the curves or there's also formulas that go all the way up through you know much much more complicated calculus so we'll stop there uh, with the mathematics and you can be happy that we are not spending too much time focused on that